A good scrub sponge is there to keep your kitchen clean, but what is keeping that sponge clean? I've asked the question and here with the answer is Adam. A question for the ages, Bridget. Everyone's asking that. We are testing sponge holders to keep your sponge up off the bottom of the sink and that's gonna help keep it clean. We have six different models here. Okay. Price range was $5 to $15.50. Two different ways to attach them. These two in front of you both hang down into the sink. Put it around a faucet or a soap dispenser or something like that, okay. hangs into the sink. The other four have suction cups that attach them to the side of the sink. That means you can put them anywhere you want in the sink. Now we have tested sponges in the past. This is our favorite good colors. And we found in the sponge testing that to keep them as clean and sanitary as possible, you gotta, gotta keep them from being wet. You want them to dry out. Because that's where all the mold and bacteria can grow. Don't want mold and bacteria. We do not. So that formed the basis of our testing, actually. We wet sponges with a measured amount of water, and we put them in the sponge holders and let them dry for 10 hours and then weighed them to see how much water had evaporated. We repeated that several times to get an average and the best, most open air circulation, the cage design that allowed a lot of air through, those let about 67 was the top or the low 60% of the moisture evaporate. Something that was really closed like this, which has these solid walls and just tiny little holes at the bottom, right. that one only allowed 25% of the moisture to evaporate. <laughs> That's almost a bowl <laughs> at this point. Exactly. <laughs> so you want an open design and a lot of air circulation. Gotcha. That would make you think that those are the best. Sure. Until you're washing a stock pot or a Dutch oven in your sink, because those protrude from the side, they hang in there, and we found ourselves bumping them and then knocking them off. Right, because also they're right by where the levers for the cold and the hot are. Exactly. So we favored the suction cup models, but that brings us to a second age old question. How do you keep the suction ones put in the sink? They're always sliding around. Yes. Can't tell you the number of mornings I've come into the kitchen and found it sitting at the bottom of the <laughs> sink. Hate that. Here's how. You want more suction cups rather than fewer. So this one had two. A couple of them just had one. Okay. You want bigger suction cups. These were the biggest ones in the game. They were two and a half inches in diameter. And you want them to be as far apart as possible because that acts as almost a lever to help keep it attached to the side of the sink. These were five inches apart. What I am holding is our winning mm. sponge holder. Sunny Point Never Rust Kitchen Sink Suction Holder for about $10. And it's terrific. I'm never using another sponge holder as long as I live. Never again. Nope. See you next week when we figure out what keeps these clean. <laughs> High and dry is the name of the game, and to do that, pick our winner. That's the Sunny Point Never Rust Kitchen Sink Suction Holder, and it runs about $10. At Cook's Illustrated, we're food nerds. That's why every recipe we develop involves research, cooking science, and rigorous testing by our team of expert test cooks, before being tested by our dedicated community of 40,000 home cooks. Only the highest rated recipes earn a place in our award-winning magazine. Every issue features our latest recipes and discoveries, cooking tips, and equipment and ingredient reviews. Our step-by-step -step photos and hand-drawn illustrations show you exactly how to succeed. What you won't see, even a single page of advertising. We've worked for home cooks like you for over 30 years. So, are you ready to become the best cook you know? Subscribe to Cooks Illustrated Magazine at cooksillustrated.com today. We hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed making it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you're ready to take your cooking to the next level, head over to americastestkitchen.com and get a free all access trial membership. While you're there, you can sign up for our free email newsletters and download our app. With unlimited access to over 14,000 of our test kitchen recipes, and 8,000 product reviews, you'll have everything you need to cook and learn. So I ask, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Let's make something great together.